What's going on? It's Suk and I'm back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I'll be showing you the results that I got when running a number of different benchmarking tests on the brand new Samsung Galaxy A35. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so if you are new around here, then I must ask you to hit the subscribe button, clicking the bell to be notified when any of my new videos go live. But without any further ado, let's hit the titles. So the first benchmarking test which I ran on the Samsung Galaxy A35 was Geekbench 6. Now I started off by running their CPU test and when running this test I got a single core score of 1020 with a multi core score of 2901. Once again using Geekbench 6 I started to run some of their compute tests and starting off with the OpenCL test I got a score of 3011 and when running the Vulkan compute test I got a score of 3019. The next set of tests which I ran once again come from Geekbench but this time from their set of machine learning tests found in Geekbench ML. So when running the CPU test I got a score of 427, when running the GPU test I got a score of 344 and finally when running on the core ML portion I got a score of 335. I found this to be quite interesting as the A55 scored a CPU score of 339 compared to the A35's 427 and things pretty much flip the other way around when it comes to the GPU with the GPU on the A35 being less capable than the A55 when it comes to machine learning tasks with the A35 scoring 344 compared to the 465 points that we saw in the A55. I then ran a number of different graphics tests from 3D Mark, and starting off with the slingshot test I got a score of 5682 with a graphics score of 6564 which is considerably lower than the 9767 that we saw in the A55. I also ran the Slingshot Extreme test which gave us a graphics score of 4909 which is considerably lower than the scores that we got with the Samsung Galaxy A55. I then ran the wildlife test from 3 Mark and got a score of 2797 with an average frame rate of 16.75 frames per second which is considerably lower than the 24 frames per second we saw with the Samsung Galaxy A55. And when it comes to running the wildlife stress test the highest score the Galaxy A35 achieved was 2816 with its lowest being 2779 which is once again considerably lower than what we've seen with the A55. So it's clear to see that if you are potentially looking to play a handful of games on these entry smartphones that the A35 might not be the best option after all and it's more suited to more casual gaming as opposed to some more intensive games like we see with Call of Duty Mobile and Fortnite. Of course I wanted to further tax this device so I also ran the Wildlife Extreme test and when running this test I got a score of 807 with an average frame rate of 4.84 frames per second which is a little lower than what we've seen with the A55 with it scoring 944 points. Things are no different when it comes to running the Wildlife Extreme Stress Test with the best score this A35 achieved being 811 compared to its lowest of 807. And due to the nature of this device I'm unable to perform the Solar Bay test that's both the Solar Bay and the Solar Bay Stress Tests. So if you're hoping for some ray tracing fun on this entry smartphone then you'll find no luck here. The next graphics benchmark which I ran on the Samsung A35 was from GFX Bench. Now GFX Bench runs a number of different tests which vary from both higher and lower levels of intensity and in the interest of saving some time I have calculated the average for these results but as always I will show you each individual result. So the average that I got for the higher intensive tasks was 39.07 frames per second Whereas when it comes to the lower level intensive tasks, I got an average frame rate of 94.83 frames per second. 
I then ran the Basemark GPU test and when running the off-screen Vulkan test I got a score of 4213 with it scoring an average frame rate of 42.13 frames per second but when it comes to running the same off-screen test through OpenCL it scored 4025 with it averaging 40.25 frames per second. I also ran the Vulkan native test that's at native resolution and when running this test it scored 3647 with it averaging 36.48 frames per second which is considerably lower than the 55.91 frames per second that we saw with the A55. I then ran a Wi-Fi speed test and got download speeds of 439 megabits per second with upload speeds of 105 megabits per second and when it come to testing this smartphone's cellular capabilities through the EE network here in the UK, I got 5G cellular download speeds of 114 megabits per second and got cellular upload speeds of 94 megabits per second. I then ran a disk speed test to compare this smartphone to the Samsung Galaxy A55. Now when running the disk speed test, I got sequential write speeds of 323.12 megabytes per second and sequential read speeds of 526 megabits per second, which is considerably slower than the 487 megabits per second and the 967 megabits per second, which we saw in the A55. The A35 got random write speeds of 24 megabytes per second and got random read speeds of 18.32 megabytes per second. It also got a memory copy speed of 5.77 gigabytes per second. I then ran another disk speed test and got read speeds of 1391 megabytes per second with write speeds of 489 megabytes per second. Now there's quite a difference here with the A35 coming in at around 40% faster. I also ran the AI benchmark test and when running this test I got a score of 95.7. I then ran the Antutu graphics benchmark and when running this test it scored 593,163 which was considerably less than the A55 which scored 724,562. Also from Antutu I ran the HTML browser benchmark and when running this test I got a score of 48,913. So what are your thoughts on how the A35 performed? Leave them down below in the comment section. Once again, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So if you are new around here, then I must ask you to hit that subscribe button, clicking the bell to be notified when any of my new videos go live. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care and have a good one.